Welcome back to Rise Up with Janina Chan. And today's a very special day. Our self-love, care, real wellness in this season of loving and caring is none other than multi-awarded, locally renowned doctor. She's a general internist, a rheumatologist, a proud single mother as well, who shares her talents, passions, and love with everyone through her social media online platforms, as well as through her advocacy. So let's all welcome Dr. Geraldine or Dr. Ding Zamora. Hi, Dr. Ding. Hello. Show there. Show there. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Yeah, I'll call Hi. you Archie Ding now. Okay, so thank I love you for it. the invitation. And yeah, thank um, you so much. For indulging this opportunity for us, you know, to talk about these things because it's important for people to be well not just physically but also mentally emotionally especially now mm, that that's all the christmas like you said yeah it's so true this is the season of loving focusing our attention um on what's really important mm -hmm. i mean this year has been challenging for a lot and i think a lot of us have been refocusing our priorities to what's truly necessary or to what's truly essential as we've been hearing a lot in this new normal right let's just stick to the essentials and i think nothing is more essential than love and as yeah. cheesy or as cliche as that may sound i'm already pegging the title of this podcast has to be within the lines of self-love and real wellness as prescribed by a doctor. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I think that sounds really catchy and I would also love to hear what you have to say about that. But before that, first up, um, yes, you are our Achi. So happy that you're here as a as that Achi voice or that friend <laughs> that we've been needing to hear maybe. Um, sometimes this time around, other people may seem sad also because we iba naman humuhugot this time around. Yes. Diba? Totoo yan. Totoo so, yan, yes. you know, we're here to talk about not only that, but also about um, your professional career too. It's great. You know, you're uh, an accomplished doctor, but all that didn't start from, um, I mean, all successes start, have to start somewhere, right? Yeah. And I heard that you weren't actually set on becoming a doctor ever since. So tell us more about <laughs> the humble beginnings. Okay, of yeah, authority. you're right about that. Um, I actually came from, you know, a middle to maybe lower middle class income family. And um, my parents separated when I was in first grade. So it is really not a very, you know, happy childhood in, in that sense that it wasn't normal. Um, and my mom had a difficult time um, earning a living. And so during school, my sister and I, we were really quite reliant on scholarships. So the Chinese Association had been very helpful. Um, you know, it's one of the perks of being Chinoy. So we had a lot of help growing up. And then when I was about to do college, I wasn't sure what I'd do. But my goal was really just to finish so that I could help my mom earlier. And then, so yon, I took a PT because I was thinking I would leave after college and work abroad, you know, to earn a better income. But then towards the end of um, college, my friends were applying to medicine and I got on board into this bandwagon. And then, you know, before I knew it, I was accepted to UP medicine and the tuition was quite low. So I opted to go there instead. And... I became a doctor without really planning to do so. Um, simply because, you know, growing up, I know that uh, I knew that being a doctor would entail very long hours, many years. Diba ang tagal at at mahirap mag doctor yung sinasabi and mahal. That's why it was never really in my plans, but it happened. And then I just made the most of it. Um, it wasn't an easy road, but here I am. So. If you have anybody in your audience who is aspiring to be a doctor or actually any profession that you know you think is might is or would be difficult, uh, you know, you just have to dream it and work hard and you will achieve it. I can tell you that if you put everything in it. Thank you, you so know, much for that. <laughs> and, yeah, I think a lot of um, these days, a lot of people just want to see success off the bat and they forget how 
um, mm-hmm. tiring and exhausting sometimes. The many behind it, the scenes. Yeah, it takes to get there. So, and with all that said, though, you still remain to be top of your classes, right? Which I is know. very inspiring. So tell us more about um, the whole um, academic balance <laughs> and career balance. Uh, I mean, how are you able to remain top of your class despite... Um, Despite the challenges, yeah. Um, I think one of the things that helped me when I was in school was that I didn't really have money to, you know, go on gimmicks. To use in gimmicks, I didn't have mm-hmm. money to go to coffee shops. And but so all my life was just really spent on studying and I have to go home. At the time, I was, for a few years, I was living with an aunt. No? Mm-hmm. And um, so parang yung mga pinsan ko, nandun sila, we had to sometimes shooter them or something. Um, so it's really more of, I guess, um, priorities also. Uh, I knew that if I studied well and I would have good grades, and there's a better chance for me to have a good job. Mm-hmm. So I also made sure that, because I love dancing. Yes, I know this. Uh, so, especially during med school, um, I made sure that I would do something I love, which is dancing. So, even if medicine was already very hard after school, there was already a certain number of hours allotted to dance practices. And ang naisip ko doon, simply because I'm busy dancing, when it's time to study, I'm more focused. Uh, and siguro it helps that before we don't have uh, unlimited Wi-Fi pa. I mean, phones, texting, no? Wala pa yan masyado before eh. Whereas now, you know, you get easily distracted with social media. Before, there was really nothing except maybe text, text messages. So I was able to focus talaga. Um, I'm a person who also likes to make my to-do lists. Mm-hmm. So I'm done to-do lists. I really like ticking off the boxes there na nagawa ko na to. And it's really basically prioritizing. So one of these days, you might need to prioritize your family first. Sometimes you have to prioritize your patient. So priorities can change every minute, actually, every hour. And as long as you know which one in particular you should prioritize the most, then more likely you will be able to serve many areas of your life, be it your career, your home. Um, If you're studying, then you can balance school work and the things that you do or the mm-hmm. things that you love to do okay talking about balance though i love how you right now are embracing this whole social media persona that you have also yeah. i mean it's not a persona it's really you i could attest to yeah. that yeah. and i love how you're able to mix both that i would call it like medicine and media so oh. with that <laughs> though diba, parang ang galing, you were able to adapt to um the changing times too with everything now becoming digital and you also have your very own youtube channel and even your social media pages are mm-hmm. all for health and all for what you stand for diba having a yes. positive outlook in life also and holistic wellness if you may so when it comes to that before we delve into holistic wellness tell us more about <laughs> um maybe as listeners to as consumers of social media and the internet and of a lot of information now it can be a double-edged sword right sometimes it can actually be ano pa, mapapa, samapa, it mm-hmm. could be a negative thing if we stumble upon fake news so tell us more about in terms of um, media and medicine how should we um how should we approach that okay maybe i can start off by telling your audience how it started so initially it was just you know private instagram my facebook account and then um after medicine of course i started getting requests from radios and tvs usually doctors get that because they need us to raise awareness on certain Mm -hmm. um diseases and then one time dr willie ong guested me in his radio show so it's also chinoy um and then he would then regularly uh, invite me to guest in his Facebook Live. And then he said that um, I should start my own Facebook page because a lot of people are very interested in Rayuma, yung mga pins, ganyan, mga lupus gout. And then I just kept on refusing because I said, nakakahiya, nahihiya ako. Because uh, even if it doesn't 
show, hindi halata. No? I'm really very shy. Hindi halata. People think I'm sama ka pala mukha. But sa totoo lang, I'm very shy. Um, nasanay na lang ako over the years, you know, guesting and talking to people. But so I kept on refusing and I'm saying, look, ikaw na lang, I'll just guest. And then one day, I just woke up with a Facebook page. I saw that Dr. Willie Ong made you a Facebook page. So he made me an administrator of my page. And then uh, I noticed that he was posting stuff already. And then I said, wait lang, pangalan ko yun eh. So I should probably start posting my own content. So that started the page. And then... So now my page is purely for teaching. Uh, if people stumble upon it, if or if your audience would like to check it out, it's really mostly in Tagalog. Um, and I find fulfillment knowing that a lot of patients pala are helped, or even not patients, but people, like even from abroad, uh, they comment na they're from like Abu Dhabi. Uh, a lot of OFWs are um, being helped by these um, awareness campaigns that we do. Um, so yun, yun yung Facebook page. It's really more of teaching. So I've never accepted any uh, endorsement, no? Kasi may mga nag-offer din. But I would always say no because I want my Facebook page to be purely teaching. Mm-hmm. Yung hindi ko siya pagkakakitaan. Um, yung Instagram naman, eventually, I started getting a following because of yung mga TOYM, yung some of the awards they got, and other things. And I think doon ko naman nalalabas yung, you know, my kikai side. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> Ang arte ko din, di ba? I like mm-hmm. dancing. I like, I used to be a model. So I used to ramp mm-hmm. model. Um, but basically, I did that really to help augment um, my baon to med school. To, so I can buy my books. Um, so yung Instagram ko would be my kikai page. But, you know, I tried as much as possible to focus on the positive side of things. Um, I would also insert a few medical knowledge from time to time, health awareness. Pero napansin ko kasi pag Instagram, it's more of dapat medyo ano, lifestyle. No? So if I want to reach a bigger audience, kailangan ko lagyan ng lifestyle post. And then I will insert a health or educational post para more people can read it. Um, and like you said, recently I started my YouTube channel, but it's really just so I can explain medical conditions Uh, to people because it's harder now to explain to patients when we're in the clinic sobrang limiting ng masks so I started recording and then one time my mom said hindi siya maka-exercise because the ones she sees in YouTube are all so long hmm. are so difficult sabi ko si gagawan kita ng video so I did some videos lang of exercises and I uploaded them and some people are benefiting so I'm happy for those now um yung Twitter din. Yung Twitter ko naman is really just for me to learn more about rheumatism and other medical conditions and also to inspire or help um, students because I, I think there's a lot of um, of the younger generation in mm-hmm. Twitter. Okay, so yung moving towards, uh, moving on towards social media as a possible ano ba to, source of stress. Uh, mm-hmm. um, a lot of patients ask me ba't sila makatulog? Um, and siguro sometimes I would advise na maybe bawasan yung social media. You know, it's nice to scroll. But we also always have to remind ourselves that what we see in social media is really curated. No, na I've seen a lot of couples fight because, eh, bakit sila ginito? Bakit ito ganyan? We sometimes also feel that, you know, but parang ako walang ganyan. Why can't you treat me out for ganyan? Uh, because you see it um, on social media. Sometimes you feel a little bit uh, ano parang down because ah wala ako niyan and sila meron ito. Ito recently I've seen so many um uh, pictures of Barake so inggit na inggit ako <laughs> so parang gusto ka na rin lumabas pero of course being a doctor I know I should not because I would set a bad example. Um yun, I think social media can be a double edged sword like what you said. It can help us but it can also harm us. No so I think one way people can help themselves with social media is to choose who you follow. And uh, you also try to decipher which ones you let yourself be affected with. So, hindi naman lahat. Kailangan meron din tayo. Hindi mm-hmm. yan lahat. Exactly. Totoo. Um, like, the ones I advertise on Instagram, if I'm approached by brands, I make sure that they're not medical, for one thing just so I won't end up being unethical. So if you notice to the Instagram ko puro kaartihan, yung mga lifestyle <laughs> also, because I just refuse na lang for the sake of my uh, integrity. Um, anything that's bordering on supplements, medicines, ganun. 
and I'm sure like you you're an you're uh you're an influencer um you are I know that you want to keep your integrity mm-hmm. you know you only advertise something that will not hurt other people mm-hmm. exactly so, yeah, okay. okay so just always be careful and cautious and also be aware of what we feel and with how we react and if something triggers us um just take it with a grain of salt knowing that it's curated and again yeah. you really don't know what goes on in a person's yeah. life right mm-hmm. you really would never know the whole story so enjoy and appreciate what you have and yeah again as you mentioned there is the unfollow or follow button for a reason and yeah thank you for those reminders so now moving forward to holistic wellness and really what is real yeah. wellness <laughs> as prescribed by a doctor i would love to know i mean um i think um would would you attribute it or would you relate it to having a balanced life too and earlier on behind the scenes we were talking about relationships also making sure they're yeah. healthy not only our individual relationship to ourselves but also with the people Our that we deal with right our friends mm-hmm. and family so tell us more about that wellness and love and self care okay so wellness or good health has several factors it's not just physical you know being healthy having a good blood pressure having little body fat no so it goes beyond being physically healthy what's really more important especially nowadays is mental well-being, emotional well-being. And a lot of this really stems from our past experiences. So we really can't blame other people if they are lonelier than other people. So sometimes um, it's not really fair for us to say, for example, merong somebody na malungkot. And then it's not really always fair for us to say na, oh, yung iba nga dyan, ganito, ganyan. So cheer up, no? Um, it might be something na reflex we will say na, or we'll think about eh, yung iba nga dyan na, 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 naglilimos ikaw naman you have everything but you're sad so don't be like that so I think that's uh, that's something that we should try avoid being, uh, we should try we should avoid uh, doing especially if we encounter somebody who is sad um, and tayo din no, if we feel that we're lonely um Siguro it will help if we try not to do the blaming game anymore. Now we blame someone else, we blame our childhood, we blame ourselves because it will not really get us anywhere. Um, I think if we want to be healthy mentally and emotionally, it really all begins with self-love, self-acceptance. Of course, and na rin parang talaga yung scientific factors. Other people really have hormonal imbalances. So this is why if you feel like you are sad without much of a reason, then maybe it's really good to talk with a psychiatrist. And I will also use this platform of yours, na Janina, to encourage people to speak with a psychiatrist. Because before, diba, I don't know if mas bata ka kasi sa akin, but in the past, we feel that, or we felt that if you're seeing a shrink, then you're crazy. But that's not really the case. Uh, they really have training to help us understand why we're feeling so and so and sometimes uh, like I mentioned sometimes these feelings that we have may be scientifically uh, explained pwede palang meron ng hormonal imbalance dyan kailangan lang ng certain medicine to regulate that so if you feel that or if you feel that you know somebody with poor mental health who might benefit from uh, a doctor's perspective or help or treatment, then maybe you can encourage that person to seek a psychiatrist no? and consult with one. Marami naman sa Philippines, they can do teleconsult. Uh, but for us who are, you know, um, normally we feel sad about some things and then we feel happy about some things, we can help ourselves um, moving forward be or feel better or be healthier by accepting who we are, accepting our deficiencies or baka kasi tayo lang naman yung we see the deficiencies diba parang nakakatawa nga eh diba ito yung parang saying na pag maputi ka gusto mo ang itim pag kulot yung hair mo gusto mo siyang straight pero pag balik yes. you want the other side because it always yeah. seems greener on the other side not the grass but we also forget that if we don't tend to our own garden then it will not become green mm-hmm. so 
Exactly. There's this quote also that I love just picking up from that by Neil mm-hmm. Barringham. I'm a Pinterest girl, so I always check on different <laughs> quotes. Like there's this quote that I have always stuck with me, which is the grass is greener where you water it, right? Yes. And sometimes we forget that. I mean, now we're all like plantitos and plantitas because of this whole <laughs> pandemic. So I guess our plants should remind us that there is so much growth only if we yeah. let ourselves grow like give yeah. ourselves time to actually grow and enjoy our garden don't yeah. be jealous with other people's gardens right? yes, they may have bigger <laughs> leaves and they may yeah. have taller plants but it's really how we um are content with what we have also and, that yes um and you know and um And you know, appreciating what we have to offer too, because I think God assigned us our own talents and skills for a reason, right? And like yes. that's also, I'm so happy that you're here, um, shedding light on this very important topic too, wellness. That sometimes you know we keep hearing self love, but then sometimes we don't really apply it. And mm-hmm. I think we do need now that this is coming from a licensed physician, de ba? <laughs> it could de ba? Ito na yon. This is self-love. yeah. Ito na yung prescription natin. This is the self love club, and maybe we can um maybe we can shift towards relationships this time. You're a family girl yourself, and I'm mm. I super stand and support a, <laughs> a fierce independent woman. You are a single mom even which is very challenging too and you've also faced your fair share of ordeals in life right so tell us mm-hmm. more about how to overcome these challenges and at the same time make sure that you are you know keeping your sanity and also making you know you have to be there for your child too for yes. your daughter right mm-hmm. so tell us more about that and relationships and how they pan out in our life i think family life is so important right And it does affect yeah. our individual self and self worth. So tell us more about that angle. Okay, so you're right, no, in terms of that those many ordeals that I had to go through. But um, I'm sure there are so many more out there who have gone through worse. And so, siguro, um, it's normal to feel really depressed and sad, especially. At the start of a problem or in the middle of the problem, you know, there were days that I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to get mm-hmm. up. But then you have to because ako, I have my daughter and of course I have to work. I have to earn a living. And then, you know, what I always try to think, I learned this from a friend before. Eh? I forget nationally which particular friend that was. But um, when I have a problem or when I'm, when I'm going through something, I started with one of the tests. I think it was a Chinese test. Wow. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Tayo. Throwback. Alam, throwback. Super, <laughs> diba, super hirap na mga Chinese test. Yeah. Minsan, to memorize all these things na minsan di ko naman maintindihan. Bakit na Mandarin is kind of hard. Um, I think it started when bumagsak ako sa isang Chinese subject. And then parang sabi nung isang person, ay nako, isipin mo lang in 10 years, tatawanan mo lang yan. So it was really that simple. Na at the time, oh nga no, parang inisip ko, in 10 years, I'll be in college and I wouldn't even remember this quiz. It doesn't define who I am. So now, ever since then, talaga, I try to do this and I hope your audience can also try this too if they have issues or they have their problems. Um, isipin ko lang, okay, so now I may feel very down, I feel very bad, yak ka ganyan, parang feeling mo is end of the world. But you try to think, oh, sige, what about five years from now? Nasaan na kaya ako? And then you'll realize, ah, baka five years from now, it won't matter anymore. Or even if it does matter, it will still matter because it will change your life. You will be okay. Um, I really think that um, if we put ourselves in that perspective, na we think that this is not the end of it, you know? It may feel like the end of the world. We all have different um, crosses, di ba? Sabi naman talaga ng tao, nobody's perfect, no? Nobody's totally happy. Or siguro meron, I don't know. But um, I'm sure meron. Pero most of the people around us will have a problem or two. Maybe it, it may, sorry, it may be love, it may be financial, it may be academic, it may be family, it may be their dog or what. But there will be something that will cause um, sadness or insecurity. And siguro we just have to think of how we will be. Ano kaya meron na ako? Or ano na kaya ako in 5 to 10 years? Will this still matter? Is this the end of the world? No, most likely not. 
but so if we put that in the perspective then it's easier to go through that particularly difficult time so in terms of moving on now you're right then also that uh, a lot of people ask how to move on from many things like um not just from relationships like moving on from um a failure like for example when i was in third year med school uh, i applied a us visa with my friends because we were supposed to go to the us for um a rotation in california so syempre hindi ako nabigyan ng visa because i was single i didn't have my own properties Um, and I was really depressed. No? I mean, not really depressed, but I was really down because that was, was, that was what I was planning to do the summer, to do a rotation in pediatrics. But, you know, I just embraced, okay, so wala akong gagawin, so what should I do? So, you know, that opened up doors for modeling. For me, you don't like start your modeling. Ko, um, a classmate invited me with him to a go-see. Nakast din ako. And it started. So, you know, if I didn't allow myself to... be happy and accept and ako natanggap so I should move on and do other things I would never have been immersed in the also wonderful world of modeling and saya-saya rin nga eh, di ba? it's a different world um, so when we encounter failures um, we just have to think of it as a roadblock that will eventually be um, relevant we'll, re- we'll always realize maybe many years from now bakit nangyari to? So maybe there's something else better for you or for us. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's only a redirection sometimes. Yes. Mm-hmm. You're right. And to where you you're have... supposed to be. Yes. Or um, even if it's not in your plan, like I said, it, wasn't ne- it was never in my uh, plans to be a doctor or to even do modeling. My mom, and then, um, I really just wanted to work and help my mom. But when doors open... And you enter wholeheartedly and give your everything as long as you don't step on other stores. I think you, if, at the end of the road, uh, there will be something there for you. Exactly. Well Tama, said. Tama, tama. Tama. <laughs> Tama. And I, I love what you said about always being kind to and never stepping on anyone's toes, right? I mean, mm. we there's enough room for everybody to grow and to <laughs> excel and to live life fully. And we can all enjoy a healthy, happy life here as long as we, you know, we focus on the end goal and the purpose that we are holding on to. And speaking of um, challenges, though, not everyone talks about um, the healing process of traumas Mm -hmm. and pain and anxiety and self-doubt and maybe even coming from a toxic relationship. So tell us more about how to deal with healing. Other people don't even know where to begin in terms of ah, healing. Okay. So coming from a doctor, what is real healing <laughs> and how to ako? heal? Ano okay. hugot question na pala to, no? Actually. <laughs> <laughs> how Pero, to heal? Um, healing will come in many forms. Um, mm-hmm. Well, for me, what really helped was the presence of friends mm-hmm. and my family. And I really prayed a lot. I'm not sure if all of your audience have the same religion as we do, but um, for me, believing in something and believing in the people who love me the most give me strength. Um, I think healing starts with that. And I really also believe that time heals wounds. Even if you think that, ah, this, this thing that happened to me, I'll never forget this, I'll never get over this. You know, with time talaga, mawawala rin naman siya. Um, so healing will need time. That's one. You shouldn't rush it because like in the psychological field, meron yung, di ba, merong denial, <laughs> anger, ano yun, babda. <laughs> denial. Binemorize namin yun ng med yeah. schools. It's scientific, no? It's denial. Yeah. Then anger. And then bargaining. Bargaining. Bab, ano ba yung ba? Um, before acceptance, I forgot mm-hmm. the D. Mamaya maalala ko siya. Pero it starts with denial and then eventually there's acceptance. So, um, it is said that people should go through those phases so that you will heal adequately. Um, maybe you'll skip a phase or two, but it's really important to allow yourself to heal with time. Uh, you don't have to rush it. Um, you can. It can be as little as, you know, waking up na hindi ka nagalit. Or waking up 
na gusto ko man ang bumangon because there's something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's important. I think the D missing there is depression there. We, Ayun, we were tama. able to, yes. <laughs> to research. Okay. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and then acceptance. Um, and then the road to acceptance may be different. Like, for me, baka mabilis lang or it could be longer for me compared to others. So, try not to compare yourselves with others. Some people, they tell me, paano mo ginawa yan? Um, and I have to tell them that, you know, baka akala mo lang din, I'm so okay. But also, of course, deep inside, it's still not 100% okay. But um, you have to be strong for your kids or you have to be, you put up a brave front for yourself as well. Mm-hmm. Um, diba sabi nga nila, if you feel strong, if you look strong, then maybe become, maybe you'll eventually become strong. Mm-hmm. Parang ano lang yan, yung endorsements sa school, like in medicine. <laughs> we always have endorsements in the morning. And kailangan maganda ka. Para kahit sabunin ka daw, kahit na sobra kang pagalitan, kainin ka or what, at least maganda ka. Parang yung mga ganun lang, yung parang, <laughs> parang at least you feel good about one part of yourself. And mm-hmm. um, it will follow your confidence. Um, I'm not saying we have to be beautiful. I just mean that um, if you're able to take care of yourself um, and not allow yourself to waste in the depression phase, mm-hmm. sooner or later, dadating din yung healing. So time mm-hmm. is really important. And surround yourselves with people who matter. No, uh, minsan sa atin, we don't know that may namamahal sa atin. Uh, we disregard the help of our siblings or friends who've been there from day one. And maybe that's the time for them to allow them back into your lives. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Awesome. Tama ba yung mga pinagsasabi ko? Yes. Super. I can, okay. yeah, learn so much just from that. And I do love what you mentioned about time, that time really does heal wounds yes, and I love that the what you mentioned about being strong for your present self and for your future self too and for the people around you diba? it's great and moving forward um, maybe in terms of how you know that you deserve better how do mm-hmm. we get out from a situation that isn't exactly ideal and you feel stuck in And you sometimes feel that, oh, maybe this is what I deserve in terms of self-worth and doubt and maybe in terms of knowing that or maybe accepting that you do deserve the best because other people have um, other people have that internal battle or internal debate that, oh, maybe I should just settle for this. Right. So maybe wow. about that. Okay. Um Well, there's this ano kasi, there's this phenomenon called gaslighting and this is fairly common in relationships, not just uh, girl-boy relationships or boy-boy. I mean, not just in a romantic relationship, but also among um, friends and parents and children wherein sometimes we feel that it's our fault even if these things happen because of the other person's fault kasi magaling mag-gaslight yung isa. So sometimes the problem with that is the victim is not really aware of this situation. So I think siguro the best way to answer that question, Janina, Shobe, <laughs> um, is kunwari, if you have a lot of people telling you, if your friends are telling you, siguro parang hindi na tama yan eh, parang ganun. Siguro we have to listen no? or siguro we have to think twice. Bakit ba ang dami nagsasabi sa akin na mali yung ginagawa sa akin? Kasi sometimes, um, I'm not saying this is ano, uh, my experience, but like uh, my mom is a battered wife. And in the hospital, we see a lot of um, different kinds of abuse, um, even sexual abuse no, in the hospitals. Um, and then we notice that sometimes victims even blame themselves. And they even justify the actions of the perpetrator or sino man sila. Um, so, siguro one thing that can help us is if everybody na lang around us is telling us this one, baka we can try to listen and try to analyze why they say this of our partner or of our boss. Uh, iba-iba kasi yung levels of relationship. Eh. So, how to know if we're in a toxic relationship? We deteriorate. We do not perform to the best of our abilities. 
we always feel that we're inadequate. I think that's not a good situation to be in. Yung parati ka na lang kulang. Parati ka na lang um, not enough. Parang you're always compared to somebody better. But siguro, I'd like to add that this is not um, a hard and fast rule. No? Because of course, like for example, when I was in training in rheumatology, our mentors would tell us, oh, you have to improve this because look at her, ang galing niya mag-present. Ikaw, you have to work on your presentation skills. So I needed that. Now, even at that time, I felt bad. Na shocks, but ako pinapagalitan. But uh, then you realize, oh, it's because they want me to improve my craft. So siguro, even this is an advice that I can give, it's really still individualized. Iba-iba siya personario. But if this were in a, in a relationship na romantic, Siguro we can also try listening to our friends. And siguro, ako siguro in for a relationship pa, kung yun yung isang topic natin, kung may physical, ako kung may physical battering na, feeling ko dapat wala na yun eh. Parang mm. wag na talaga, no? Mm-hmm. I don't know what's what's your opinion on that, Jenny? Yeah, feeling ko pag, feeling ko pag may violence na physical or sexual, I think talagang wala na yun eh. Yeah. Emotional kasi it's hard to pinpoint that sometimes, eh. mm-hmm. but eto yung mga women's rights na buti na lang more people are more vocal about that yeah um, and not necessarily women lang because there are certain same same gender or same sex relationships na meron ding violence no yes so at the end of the day um i think we really have to love ourselves so we know if feeling natin tinatapakan na tayo mm-hmm. exactly but it's easy for me to say it's very hard to do kasi ako din minsan i always have these thoughts na i am not enough ganyan I could be a better mom, I could be a better teacher or what, but um, it's easier to say, it's harder to do. So mm-hmm. I hope you indulge me in this, um, in saying this, and uh, I really hope we can all improve ourselves. It's really for our own well-being. Exactly. I love what you said about that. And also, I think we can maybe use this platform to share that, you know, if you know people who are violent, right? maybe they should get help too. Because they need yes. a more healthy outlet to express their emotions. And maybe these are repressed emotions from way back. Sabi nga nila, hurt people hurt people. And usually yes. the abusers are those who have experienced abuse themselves. So maybe this is a wake-up call for everybody. And yeah, hoping you're not in these kinds of scary situations. But hold on to hope. And again, seek for professional help. Yes, and or maybe if you know somebody. You yeah, can advise that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now... Again, this is all, you know, we, we love ourselves so that we can relate to the world better. And earlier on off cam, we were talking <laughs> about it. Uh, you mentioned about sharing a little bit about um, love languages that you felt oh, were I see. helpful in terms of relating yeah. to others. So tell us more about that. Um, you know, love languages. I just learned that pretty late. No? Uh, it actually was something I just saw on Facebook, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately for my for myself but um i realized that there is a certain love language that every person has so may ibang tao that they feel loved when they are given gifts and others they feel loved when they are being talked to kinakausap ka communication yung iba they feel loved when they're touched may mga ganun eh so there are different love languages and it really surprised me Um, because yun yung time na medyo magulo na yung life ko. Um, it's a give and take relationship, no? So usually a couple will not have the same love language. So it's really up to you to know each other's love languages and to meet halfway. And this is not only applicable to romantic relationships. It's also um, love languages between a parent and child, be- between friends. You know, because we have to keep our friends. Um, friendship is really very vital in life. I can't imagine life without friends. I wouldn't have um, gone through life's difficulties without my dear friends. Um, so if they're interested in looking for that, I think it's just available online. Yes. And you can have you and your barcada or you and <laughs> your child or you and your partner uh, take the test. And you will be, you might be surprised Um What makes you happy? What makes you fulfilled? Because diba, we have to always fill that cup. You, know, you fill your cup with your, your, your friend's cup, your partner's cup, your child's cup. But at the end of the day, you're both happy. 
in your relationship. And all relationships, even professional yeah. ones. At least it would be nice to know what your boss likes, <laughs> or the ba, or what your employees like, the ba. Para naman mas maayos lahat. Everyone's happier in that sense too. And hindi nagkakaroon ng blurred lines or gray areas na. Okay, ba to? Um, did I offend you? Or parang gusto mo ba tong, uh, parang or maybe you mean well. Yun pala para sa kanya na kakairita, right? That's very important. I learned a lot. Yeah, actually, we we took that test. Kami sa family, my sister and my mom, and it's also very interesting. Like me, I'm the hugger. I'm like, like the more touchy person. And in terms of like, um, in terms of what I want, yata is parang ano ba ano ba yun? Ah, parang helping me with with hard stuff. Yeah, and helping me with challenges. Parang ganon. So yeah, I appreciate. Before we say goodbye, you know, you led such an inspiring life. You've been leading your life with so much fierceness and fearlessness. Although I know it isn't easy all the time, you make it look so. Um, you make it look so easy, or parang you're always so calm and composed, prim and proper. But I know it it hasn't been easy too. So thank you so much for being so brave. And for being so courageous in sharing your stories with us, be it through academics, career, and personal life. So before we say goodbye, maybe you can share your rise up message since this is Rise Up with Janina Chan and Achi Jing, Dr. <laughs> Jing. What is your rise up message for everybody? Okay. I'm not prepared for that question. So let's see. <laughs> okay, so maybe my rise up message would be um to love yourself we have to understand that we're not perfect there will always be somebody who will be more beautiful or more intelligent more successful than you or than us but that if we are able to accept who we are and love ourselves then we will be in a better position in life and that um, i'd like to impart or i'd like to share or i'd like to remind everybody That the best part of falling or failing is you can decide how you'll get up or if you'll get up but rather if you're going to get up strong stronger then it's going to be better in the long run so we will fail many times but the more important part is getting up strong and not letting the roadblocks hinder us from achieving our full potential and in being happy i think happiness can be decided upon if we are content with what we have and not allow us ourselves to be influenced by what we see in social media then i think we're going to be quite pleased with how we are in this world and also ang haba no i think you can just slice <laughs> this up ang pinaka important pala i think in my opinion i think Whenever we rise up, I think we should pull others up with us. Yes, you know it's important um, not to think that to be successful we have to be alone up there, because it's more fun to have everybody up there with us. You know, you, it doesn't lessen your success if somebody else is successful. Something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I understand. Yes, for that. <laughs> because some people they think about once they see someone else doing the same thing they're doing, it's like. Oh, I'm threatened, right? Oh, okay. Or like it's competition. But yeah, I I think if c- picking up from what you said, just a good balance of both. There's healthy competition for a reason, right? Mm-hmm. We I think without competition, we will all be less competent. Yes, <laughs> right. We will, we will relax. Yeah, competition. Uh, competition breeds um, competence. But at the same time, saying that the comparison is the thief of joy. Also, yeah. so don't compare. Never compare your successes or your failures, even with others, because again, you will never know what they're going through in their whole holistic life. It may look all roses in mm-hmm. the professional scene, pero yun pala may pinagdadaan oh. sila, de ba? Na parang hindi mo rin kaya ng tanggapin kung ikaw yon. So again, just be content with everything you have and always learn from every single thing, yes. the highs yes. and the lows of life. And yes, let's rise up together. <laughs> Together, gusto ko yung sinabi mo yan, rising up together, mas masaya. Ayan, so thank you so much. Ang saya-saya namin that we got to hear your story. Thank, thank you so much, so Dr. Jing. Maybe you can plug your socials, your YouTube, mm. and where we can see you. Okay, so iba-iba kasi yung name. In Instagram, it's jingmd or .md. 
in YouTube, it's just my name. I didn't know you can put a YouTube name. So I just put my name. And in my Facebook page, it's just my name as well. And Twitter, it's Aurora Jing. So I think you can see the link from your post. And I will um, I'll wait for this episode. Yes. When is it supposed to air? Um, it will be out pretty soon, like in a few weeks. Okay, I let me know. December 19th. Okay. So let's okay. I also post it. Um, All right. Uh, December okay. 19th, no. Yes. Okay, okay so Christmas I'll just do a, a closing spiel. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So thank you so much once again, Dr. Jing, for your time and for the love that you've imparted with all of us. And for everybody listening, don't hesitate to um, contact her <laughs> for your <laughs> medical concerns. <laughs> and yeah, check yeah, out man. her pages too. And yeah, please do leave us a great review if you are listening via Apple Podcast. Follow us on Spotify too and on all our socials. Rise up with Janina Chan and myself at Janina Chan. Thank you guys and see you guys next time. Merry Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody listening right now. Hope you're all having a holly jolly festival.